Are you using the Aldoa method exercise and are curious more about the benefits you're receiving? Have you heard about the Aldoa method exercise and want to know what the benefits are so to see if it works for you? Well, check out my video. I'm going to talk about the Aldoa method exercise and all the different benefits you can receive by doing it. Things like pain relief, better posture, more energy, and better strength. For the best advice on how to holistically address your body, subscribe to my channel. I'll go over all the different philosophies, techniques, and actions that are most beneficial for you. Because when you benefit your body holistically, it functions at its best. I'm Akimba So, and I've been in the health and fitness field for over 25 years. And I've been using the Aldoa Method exercises for 12 of those years. I've successfully used these exercises along with my holistic program to help with back pain, better awareness, better strength, higher functioning. So check out this video on the Aldoa Method exercise and the benefits you can receive so you can find out how to incorporate them into your program. The Aldoa Method was developed back in the 70s by Guy Voyer because of an epidemic of back pain in Europe. I'm not gonna talk about that right now because I got a video you can watch right here where I talk about the Aldoa Method answers so you can find out more information on that. I wanna talk about the four main benefits you receive by using the Aldoa Method exercise. The first benefit is back pain relief. So back pain can happen from a lot of different reasons. And one of those reasons is that you don't have enough space in your spine. So I'm gonna give you an example. If this is my disc, this is one vertebra, this is the other, and I have enough space, well then everything's free to move, nothing pinches, nothing touches, which means you don't have pain. But through my, my bad posture and bad nutrition and bad exercise, I start to lose space. When that space starts to pinch that disc, and all the surrounding structures of nerves and all that fun stuff, arteries. That causes pain. So if I have an exercise where I can take the top finger and the bottom finger and pull them away and keep it there, I go back to normalization of my spine, which means I don't have back pain anymore. The second benefit is strengthening. So when I'm trying to get myself space, I'm using something called axial extension, which means I'm trying to take the top of my head and my butt bone and pull them away. That produces a range of motion called extreme range. Now I know it sounds like a, a, a name of a monster truck, but it's an actual range of motion where I'm taking my actin and myosin muscle fibers and I'm constantly pulling them away from each other. For those who've seen or done the Aldoa, it's, it kind of looks like you're not doing anything, right? It looks easy, but I'm constantly trying to pull away, pull away. Well, that's a strengthening activity. And so I strengthen that area, I now tell my body, I want you to not be here, I want you to be here. And because it's an exercise, my body responds by staying there and staying strong. Do you know the real age of your body is dictated by how healthy your body is, in this case, how healthy your spine is? Not by the number you see on your driver's license? Well, go ahead and let me know how old you really are. Put in the comments below. Don't be scared, we're here to support you. But it's very important to know where you're starting from when you're doing a workout program. The third benefit is that it makes your body more intelligent. So when I'm going through this big range of motion and I'm using extreme range and pulling everything apart, I'm not affecting just my muscles. I'm affecting all the tendons and ligaments that are associated with my spine. The ligaments are the intelligent part of the body. So when you had a compressed spine before in my example, those ligaments around those areas were asleep, right? They were, they were dumb, they weren't doing anything. So when you move around in life, you didn't have the intelligent motion in that area because they were asleep. Well now I do an exercise, and as, as well as my muscles getting stronger, my ligaments wake up and become more intelligent. So I'm pulling apart, I have to use those ligaments. And now those ligaments are awake, it communicates my brain better, which gives me better posture. It gives me more, more awareness of my body. So to do an Aldoa method exercise is great for the ligament system in the spine. The fourth benefit is that it can have a local positive effect on the area you're targeting. So we have generally the spine getting tall and becoming more aware and strong. We have, we have the body becoming more intelligent. But those local levels, you have uh, arteries and nerves that go out through each section and go to different parts of the body to help them tell them what to do. And so I have a compressed spine well, those areas that are supposed to be getting information from the spine aren't getting really good information because it's pinched like a hose. So an example is your adrenals. 
Your adrenals are on top of your kidneys, and they have to do with basically your, uh, among other things, the cortisol in your body. If the cortisol in your body is off, your energy is off. You don't feel good, right? And so if I have a compressed spine from T10 to L1, which is where the adrenals become innervated, well, there's a good chance that that's causing my, my adrenals not to work properly. So among other things, you wanna do aldoas to open up those areas. We're gonna go over an example of that right here. Okay, remember what I told you? The adrenals can be innervated between T10 and L1, which means there's an aldoa for each one of those levels. You always wanna also work the level above, the level below, and then combine with other techniques to holistically train your body, stuff like myofascial stretching, GPS, pumping, WTLS, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna go over one of those aldoas today, right in the middle, called T12L1. So first you wanna sit down on your butt and get axial extension. You wanna have your head, your shoulders, and your butt in one straight line. As you do that, you wanna get as tall as possible. Now first you push your butt down, you lift the ribs up, you pull your chest out, you pull your head up. You wanna think like you're pulling one end of a string, which is your butt, the other end, which is your head, in two different directions. Once you feel that as much as possible, you wanna bend just the right knee, let it go off to the right. It's approximately 90 degrees at the back of your knee and approximately line up with your sit bone to your heel. Then you take your left leg and you go slightly wide. The width you go depends on how big you are. So I'm a little bigger and I'm gonna go more toward about 40 degrees. Somebody, somebody smaller boned, more toward 35, somebody a little bit bigger, more stocky, go more toward 45. Once I'm there, I keep my spine nice and tall. Then remember what I said? Now you position your, your, your legs and your arms. So first I pull my toes to my shins, I turn my feet and legs to the right. This now develops tension down to the lower limb. Because when you work your body, it always wants to be in a holistic, total body manner. So I got my legs locked in place, I got my spine nice and tall, and then if I can, I bring my hands on my lap, I sit myself tall, I bring only my right arm out in front of the external rotation, push the right arm forward, like you're trying to push your arm out of your armpit, and then if you can, you slowly bring your arm up as vertical as possible. As you bring your arm up, it'll increase the tension and also give you more benefits. You don't want to just throw your arm up like you're doing a snatch or like you're trying to catch a fly. You wanna really work up in a slow, controlled, meticulous manner, because as you go up, your body will cheat and show you where you're deficient, and you wanna be able to work on that. Once you get up there, you're gonna hold it, or wherever you are, for, about, for one minute. I'm not gonna do the whole minute. And then when you come down, you come down slowly, and then you will go onto different other aldoas, keeping your spine straight. You would switch this one also, the other way too, I'm not gonna go through it, but you'd also switch it because the way the, the, the fascia and tissue goes in there, it doesn't go straight in, it goes at an angle. So there's your one Aldoa, practice that one. Now that you know more about the Aldoa method of exercise and the benefits you receive, the best thing you can do is to try it yourself. It's good to intellectually know what to do, it's also better to actually see it and feel it in your body and then combine it with that intellectual, intellectual learning. So I want you to take advantage of our promotion. We have a pre-recorded class that you can do for a week. All you need to do is go to the comments below and sign up through a safe, uh, a safe page. Check out these other videos on the Aldoa Method. If you like the video, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. Thanks so much for watching.